practice. I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At eight minutes past ten, time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of mystery with Vincent Price as your host. Here's a preview. Lisa, why are you acting so strangely? Lisa! Yes? Do you understand? They will murder me. Will they? What? Will they kill you? The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. From anything goes and before to Zoot Suit and beyond, WNEW salutes Broadway. Beginning May 29th, we're going to pay tribute to the Great White Way, its people, its music, and its shows. You'll have a chance to attend the hottest black tie event of the Broadway season, the Tony Awards. Simply send a postcard by next Wednesday to... Salute to Broadway, WNEW, 655 3rd Avenue, New York, 10017. There'll also be dozens of opportunities to win hot tickets to Broadway shows. All of them for the correct answer to theater trivia questions. Not to mention interviews and comments from Broadway's leading lights and the music. Yes, WNEW salutes Broadway. From May 29th until Tony night, June 3rd, on the hot number 1130. This year, people of all nations are joining hands to improve the lives of the world's needy children. Through care, you can provide the families of these children with the means to grow their own food, to build medical facilities, safer water systems, and schools. Tomorrow's world is in our hands. Help make it a better place for all the children. Check or money order to CARE, Crusade for Children Overseas, Box 576, New York 10016. This is Vincent Price. Remember the old saying, while the cat's away, the mice will play? Well, if you'll direct your attention over there, that's just what's happening at the Cunningham Estate. Come to me, Caramia. Yes, my darling. Oh, Roberto. <sighs> Roberto. I adore you, my Lisa. Slowly. Slowly. We have the entire weekend alone. Paul's gone to his hunting lodge. The servants are off until Sunday night. Oh, if it could be like this forever. Mm. One day, my darling. One day, yes. I love you. Dad. Hello? Mrs. Cunningham? Yes, We've abducted your husband. You... You've what? You heard me. $250,000 or he dies. I don't understand. Come on. Is this a joke? No way. Here, you. Tell her. Lisa, it's Paul. Uh, I'll do what he says. They mean it. They'll kill me. Paul. Convinced? Yes. Yes. Get the money or he's dead. Uh, all right. That's better. I'll contact you in a couple of hours. No big bills. And Mrs. Cunningham, don't call the police. What's wrong? Paul's been kidnapped. Oh, no. They want $250,000. We've got to call the police. The FBI. No. That would mean his death. Well, events have taken a different turn for our amorous pair. Their weekend alone could be more than they expect. And that's only the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. 
Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week, brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, A Test of Love by Ken Gerard. Our stars, Antoinette Bauer and Len Berman. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. When I need advice, I go to my mom. Why not? It's free. Now that I'm married and moving into a new house, I want all the advice I can get. So when mom says shop Sears, I listen. You should. Sears is a great help on those big items you'll need for your new home. Major appliances like washers, dryers, and refrigerators. They'll deliver, install, and service. I always depend on Sears. You should, too. Sears, 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 where America shops. Nearly everyone at our party mentioned our new Sears Dream Supreme carpeting. Didn't anyone say anything about my rutabaga dip? Marvin said Dream Supreme looks so thick and luxurious. He loved its velvety soft plush pile. What about my rutabaga dip? Eloise adored the color. Of my rutabaga dip? I told her that avocado lime is just one of Dream Supreme's 20 lustrous colors, and when Doris heard that Dream Supreme is so reasonably priced and treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector... Okay, what about my tuna fish upside down cake? Dream Supreme carpeting in most larger Sears retail stores. Sears National Automotive Sale. Get big national savings on the Sears Die Hard. Only $49.99 with trade-in. You save $8 on the maintenance-free battery that starts nearly every car at Indy. And save on Sears Dynaglass Belt and 28 tires. They're on sale now at 40% off spring 1979 general catalog prices. Plus federal excise tax. Dynaglass Belt and 28 tires. Save 40% at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop! What an interesting situation. An unfaithful wife and a kidnapped husband. The circumstances have ominous possibilities. What will she do, do you suppose? Hmm? <laughs> a quandary, right? Who are you calling? The police. Not yet, no. Maybe... You've got to call them. Maybe... Maybe what? I don't follow you. Suppose we do nothing. Nothing? Yes. They'll murder him. One would hope so. Lisa! Does the thought frighten you? Yes. We can't do that. Can't what, my pet? Don't do it. I'm not doing anything. Someone else is. But, but, but it's murder. Yes. We have to call the police. This is gone. Never make decisions for me. You hate him that much? I married him for his money. And he married me because I'm young and beautiful. A classic June-December romance. Of convenience. He's still your husband. Don't remind me. That old man. Oh. Every time he touched me, my skin crawled. Every night I sat across the dinner table and wished him dead. Now, it's a stroke of luck. Don't you see, my angel? With Paul gone, we can be together. Forever. <sighs> Something could go wrong. How? What if they let him go? We'll have to play it right. Leave that to me. It's too risky. This is my chance. To be free to have money. Real money, not dangling on my pitiful allowance. <sighs> All right. All right. You know what he's worth. Millions. I'll have enough money to live the way I want and where I want. Not cooped up in this tomb with his precious antique. Calm down. He won't. Get out of this alive. I understand, my darling. I know what you've been through. I was only uh, concerned that you weren't thinking. <laughs> oh, my Roberto, I have never been so certain of myself as I am now. Oh, my precious. This is the answer to our dreams. <sighs> our future. We can travel. We can buy anything we want. Wouldn't you like that? Of course. But it would mean nothing without you beside me. Kiss me. Oh. 
Get on the extension in the library. Yes. The one on the desk. Hello. Here are the instructions for the drop. I can't raise the money. What? You've got to give me more time. The banks are closed. Don't stall. His corporation can arrange it. $250,000 is petty cash for them. It isn't that easy. It's your problem. I, I need time. Here are your instructions. Uh, I can't go to anybody in his company. Suppose they call the police or the FBI. Now, that'd be dumb. Lady, rich people always can come up with money. You probably have that kind of bread stashed in the house. I don't. That's tough. Here's what I want you to do. Please. Shut up and listen. Put the money in a paper bag. Go to the pay phones at the gas station on the corner of Marley and Crawford. You'll be there at two sharp. And then you wait. For what? Keep the bag of money right with you. You'll get a call with further instructions. I don't know if I can raise the money by then. Well, that'd be a big mistake. Just be there. No cops, no tricks, or else. I'll try. No. You'll do it. Here. Talk to your husband. Maybe for the last time. Lisa. Lisa, the, these people are serious. Don't call the police. I wouldn't think of it. No, you call John Gooding. He'll get you the money. He can be trusted. Do you hear me, Lisa? Yes. Yeah. Well, his private number is in my address book. Now, look, Lisa, I'm afraid. You call him immediately. What if he isn't available? But he's never out of touch. The company always knows where he is. What if I can't find your book? You know where I keep it. Where? Lisa. Lisa, why are you acting so strangely? Lisa! Yes? Do you understand? They will murder me. Will they? What? Will they kill you? Lisa, now look, look. You're, you're playing with my life. Please. Don't let them murder me, please. Give me that phone. Just to remind you we mean business, here's a sample. All right. Cut off one of his fingers. Oh, no, no, you keep away from me, no. No, 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 don't. Oh, 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 oh. Don't fool around, Mrs. Cunningham, or you'll get the old man back in pieces. All across America, folks are saving at the Sears Pre-Memorial Day Sale. We picked up Sears Easy Living Flat and Ceiling Paints for only $8.99 and saved $4 per gallon. And on Easy Living Semi-Gloss Paints, too. These are Sears' best quality paints at a great price. I got rugged Sears Weatherbeater paint for only $9.99 and saved $5 a gallon. That's a 30% savings on durable Sears Weatherbeater paint. It's, it's the a Sears Pre-Memorial Day Sale. Available at most Sears retail stores. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Yes, no, maybe so. It's a sunny bunch summer for girls on the go. Summer starts for your daughter with Easy Care halters, tanks, tees, and jogger shorts in colorful teams to switch around all summer. And each sunny bunch piece has a sunny saying and character screen print. Top, shorts, and play sets to pack a pretty bunch. When it comes to happy sportswear, the choice is sunny bunch. Jump into summer with sunny bunch funwear for your girls in sizes 7 to 14. <laughs> Who has short shorts? Sears has short shorts in pre-washed denim at the budget shop. The budget shop? Yeah, but I thought that's known for value. It is. You know how rock teams with roll will price teams with active, fun styling at the budget shop. Like Easy Care Polyester Terry t -tops. And short shorts, a look and feeling that's cool, man, cool. Pre-washed, too, in navy or white polyester and cotton with all the jean style details. Terry and denim are ready to bop in Sears budget shop. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Isn't this interesting, hmm? Our cat and mouse game has added another player. A feline, of course. But neither seems to want the mouse. Paul Cunningham's wealth may be the death of him yet. I, I don't like it. Oh, my angel. Are you still frightened? Something's wrong. Perhaps a little stage fright. This is no time to be flippant. What if this is a charade? Oh, ridiculous. 
You heard how Paul sounded. Well, we still have no proof that this isn't contrived. Don't be stupid. I would never underestimate your husband. Paul is many things, but not devious. Well, suppose this is a ruse, a trick. I doubt it. Not if he wanted a divorce. Impossible. Oh, no. He's a very smart man. Then why didn't he return now, with the two of us here alone? He knows about me? Us? Most likely. Did... Did you tell him about us? Not in so many words. Incredible. How can you... How can you be so arrogant? <laughs> I enjoy it. Losing your nerve. No. But we must be certain this isn't a trap. How? Call his hunting lodge. Why? Just to check. Call it. Call it. All right. Stone Lodge, Hank speaking. This is Mrs. Cunningham. Has my husband arrived? No, ma'am. Uh, he's about three hours behind schedule. I can't understand it. Oh. Well, didn't he call? No, and I ain't left the lodge either. Perhaps they had a flat or an accident. No, I spoke with the highway patrol. Their emergency sheet was clear. Oh. Maybe he decided to head back home. Well, that could be. But he was looking forward to hunting this weekend. Look, if he does arrive, have him call me, would you? Sure will, ma'am. Goodbye. Well? He hasn't arrived. <sighs> I'm still uneasy. We need proof. What? A picture? A piece of his clothing. A note. <laughs> Better yet, let them send us Paul. Dead. Lisa! <sighs> this is a dangerous game. We don't know who we're playing with. <laughs> yes, a game. And I plan to miss my next turn. Hello? Where were you? Who is this? Get on the extension. Don't be so smart. You should have been at the gas station. How do I know you've kidnapped my husband? Well, you spoke with him, didn't you? Perhaps. Perhaps nothing. We got him. Come across with the money or he's dead. I'll try. No more stalling. You miss this drop and I'll send you his head. Do exactly what I want. And don't stop to think about it. All right. We can send you proof. What do you want? The green and black checked hunting shirt? Or would you like us to cut off his hand? No, don't. I'll cooperate. Uh, that's better. Now take this down. Yes. Go to the Elmridge Shopping Center. With the money. You'll find some pay phones on the lower level near the escalators. Be there at four sharp. You'll be called with further directions for a drop. You better show this time. Yes, yes. Come here, you. Tell her to behave. Lisa. What is it? Save me, please. For what? If I ever meant anything to you. I... But you don't. Your money. Now, that's something else. What? What? what, what? You... No, you can... You can have everything. I'll, I'll sign over everything if you, if you just get me out hey, of this. Give me that. You mean you're not going to spring the old man? Is that what you're saying? Of course I am. That's more like it. Talk. You'll have my entire fortune. You'd say anything to get out of there. Perhaps after I own everything, I'll force them to kill you. Lisa, why? Because I loathe you. This much? More. Paul, you know who's here on the other line? My lover. Say hello, Roberto. Don't. Why not, darling? No, I, I won't listen. He's very handsome, vibrant, alive... When he kisses me, I... Stop it. Still there, Paul? Uh, uh, yes, I... I, I, I can't catch my breath. It, 
chest, chest pains. That... Give me that. What do you say to the old man? Nothing. Well, you must have. Yeah, put him on the cot. Do something. Oh, if he croaks before we get our dough, you're in for it. I am? Yes, you are. You better come across. No delays. Make the drop. If he doesn't live, we're coming after you for the money. I mean it. Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. This is Lucille Ball, here to make a personal appeal to every American. Since the 1880s, the American Red Cross has been stepping in when there's been big trouble, like a hurricane. But nobody has to tell you the Red Cross is there when a hurricane strikes. So let's talk about the other Red Cross, your neighborhood Red Cross. They teach kids to swim. That's good, Eddie. And they train about every lifeguard on every beach. it's possible to look into it. We can get in touch with the local chapter. They help veterans get on their feet. They help people relocate after fires. Are you comfortable? Okay, now relax. They collect and distribute blood. They give a hand to the older folks in your town and do scores of other jobs. It's running very nice. What? It's easy to see why we've got to have Red Cross, and only you can keep Red Cross ready for the little emergencies in your neighborhood. And the big ones. Help keep Red Cross ready. Here's a tip from your Better Business Bureau. Are you in the market for a used car? If you are, it would be wise to shop around until you get a feel for the market. It's important for you to find out if the car is covered by a warranty. A used car warranty is limited. For example, it may cover the first thousand miles or 30 days. Remember, however, the warranty is as good as the dealer who backs it. And you check his reliability with your local Better Business Bureau. Also, remember that careful inspection is the key to enjoying a used car. Be sure and look for rust. Check the tires, the shock absorbers, and the operating controls. And incidentally, it's also a good idea to take a test drive. You see, by giving the car the once-over before you buy it, you're protecting yourself against a faulty purchase and a lot of headaches after you've bought it. This has been a tip from your Better Business Bureau. <laughs> There's a twist Lisa Cunningham didn't expect. If her husband dies before she's paid the ransom, the kidnappers intend to collect anyway. Perhaps she's outsmarted herself this time. How could you taunt him like that? Do you care? It was cruel. Yes. I hope he suffered. The scheme has gone far enough. Lisa, I beg you, let me call the police. Are you mad? I know how you hate him. L no, let me finish. This goes beyond reason. Who knows what these men could do? Even if we pay, be sensible. Paul's an old man. How many more years does he have? Now? Almost none. I won't let you become an accomplice to their plot. Me? <laughs> no, my darling. We... <laughs> We are accomplices, if you insist. I want no part of murder. You should have considered that before. If he dies, you... We will be responsible. Lives, dies. I'll have to pay them anyway. There's something you haven't told me. No, no. All they want is the money. We just have to make sure Paul doesn't survive. I'll get them the ransom after he's dead. Let me handle this. All right. Hello. Mrs. Cunningham, it's Hank. The boss ain't showed yet. He should have arrived hours ago. I'll call the highway patrol again. No. I'm right worried. He's six hours late. I said not to call them. Y yes. I was only thinking about his safety. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to snap. I understand. Let me handle it from here. Yes, ma'am. Of course, uh, I didn't mean to overstep my place. I'll call the highway patrol. Yes, sir. Anything can happen these days. Cars going off the road, people dropping out of sight, even kidnapping. What are you talking about? Nothing. Uh, thinking out loud. What about kidnapping? 
I don't know. Mr. C, being a powerful, wealthy man and all that, golly, he'd be worth a lot. How much? I mean, <laughs> if, he, if he were abducted, how much? Uh, oh, Mrs. Cunningham, this is this kind of silly. How much, Hank? A couple of hundred thousand at least. Listen, I, I gotta go back to the road. I want to watch for him. Sure glad you're handling it now. What? Uh, calling the police. Bye, Mrs. C. E. Goodbye. What is it? Hank at the lodge. He was going to call the highway patrol. But he mentioned kidnapping. Does he know? Is he part of it? Is he in on it? What do you think? I don't know. It's out of control. Completely. Your idiotic plan has backfired. Stop shouting. <sighs> Sit down. Collect yourself. What did he say? Exactly what were his words? Anything could happen. Even <sighs> kidnapping. That's all? No. He mentioned money. Paul was worth a couple of hundred thousand, he said. He's with them. Maybe. Of course he is! He's testing you! Probing! Well, it could be a chance remark. Idiot! They're all around us, watching and waiting. Call him back. Tell him. What? Tell him what? You've called the police. If he's in it, we'll find out soon enough. Marvelous! Oh, this is their second mistake. What? Yes. If he's part of this, they'll have to kill Paul. We forced their hand. Why? Paul can identify them. How? At the end of the second call, he screamed something like, keep away from me, so he isn't blindfolded. Now, he saw what they were going to do. He signed his own death warrant. Did you expect someone? No. I'll go upstairs. No, don't stay here. Yes? Uh, Mrs. Cunningham? That's correct. Uh, Peter Colton, uh, with the law firm of Cross and Oppenheim. Yes. I, I tried calling, but the line was busy. I took the chance and came over with the papers. Papers? Uh, Mr. Cross instructed me to leave some papers for Mr. Cunningham. Uh, documents and business data. I can take them. Come in, please. Mr. Cunningham is not at home? No, he went to his lodge for the weekend. Oh, well, I'd better bring them back to the office. <laughs> Can't you trust me? Oh, I, I didn't mean to imply... I, I, well, of course. Of course you can keep them. I'm sorry. Gosh, what a house. I've never been in a mansion like this before. Roberto, this is... Uh, Peter Colton, Cross and Oppenheim. I, I just joined the firm. A junior partner, of course. How nice. Uh, Roberto Leone. My decorator. We were going over some details. I'm redoing the library. Please sit down. Thank you. The papers? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just looking at the paintings. Is that a real Degas? <laughs> yes, it's a real Degas. We own several others. Fabulous. I can't wait to tell my wife I met you. Your picture is in the society columns all the time. Yes. Gets to be a bit of a bore. Honestly? Yes. All those formal dinners, the opening of the opera. You must have a fantastic life. My wife is going to be so impressed. She just thinks that... that... About those papers, Mr. Colton? Oh, oh, right here, right here. I have them in four folders. It's more organized that way. Well, of course. Uh, as an attorney, I'm not allowed to discuss... Well, some matters are confidential and... Uh... Yes, yes, I understand. Uh, Mr. Leone, would you mind waiting for me in the salon? Of course not. Thank you. You knew I couldn't divulge any private matters in front of strangers, didn't you? Yes. One never talks in front of tradespeople. These are confidential matters. Uh, one can't be too careful. Absolutely. The first folder contains an analysis of the planned merger between Cunningham Industrials and Northridge Chemical. I see. The second is a list of current insurance bids on his, uh, I mean, your collection of paintings. We'll await further instructions before placing the policies. Fine. And the third folder is this week's computer printout of Mr. C's holdings, the securities, bonds, foreign currency, and, you know, the usual investments. It's sealed. I'm not privy to that communique. It's between Mr. Cross and Mr. Cunningham. And the last folder? Oh, yes, yes. It's sealed also. Mr. Cunningham's new will and two verified copies. We have the third at the firm. The latest will? We drew it up on Monday. 
with all his additions. Oh, yes, of course, those... Oh, I'm sure you know all the major conditions. Oh, naturally. Paul and I discuss everything. We worded it just as he instructed. Did you redraft the section about Mr. Cross and I being co-executors? Yes, yes. You're the sole executor now. Yes. That is what my husband wants. The basic points. Well, you're the major beneficiary. It's as simple as that. Including the interest in Cunningham Industrials. Yes, of course. You'll control that company. The stock, well, uh, at the close on Friday... Let me see. Uh, I think it's worth about 11 million. You don't have to count my money, Mr. Colton. Oh, I beg your pardon. I, I didn't mean to. That's all right. Uh, the other changes? The Degas still go to the museum, but the four Renoirs are yours. I see. The gameskeeper at Greystone gets a bequest of $50,000, as does Mr. Hopkins, the valet, and some other smaller gifts to household staff and people at the office. Thank you. Oh, it's almost 4.30. I've taken too, too much of your time already. I should get back to town. I'll see you to the door. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for allowing me to enter your home. Oh, I can't wait to tell my wife I met you. Goodbye, Mr. Colton. I must tell Paul what an efficient young man you are. Oh, would you? Certainly. Goodbye, and thank you. <laughs> I don't believe it. Roberto! Roberto, where are you, my darling? Here. I have the most exciting news. It's a dream. Hello? You missed your appointment. I know. You got one more chance, and then... You'll kill him. Right. Do it. Kill the old fool. I couldn't care less. jerseys, tight satin tops. They only look good if they hug your body smoothly. Sears Best Abra Light helps you and your clothes look good. How? Abra Light has no seam cups and straps adjust in the back so you look great up front. Whatever you do, whether it's dashing around town or simmering with disco fever in that slinky dress, it's flattering fun with the Sears Abra Light. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. And now for men, a Sears super value on a vested four-piece suit. Just $89.97 is the special purchase price that buys a coat, two slacks, and a reversible vest that combine for a wardrobe of six different outfits. Come see for yourself that this special purchase, though not reduced, is an exceptional value. Sears vested four-piece suit, only $89.97 while quantities last. It's a value that's worth a special trip. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. It's graduation time, so give your graduate a scholar. I've always wanted a smart girl for my son. I mean the Scholar Electric Typewriter at Sears. The perfect gift for son or daughter at only $169.99. That's $30 off. The Scholar features power return, power repeat backspace, power shift, and more. Key set tabulator and touch set margins plus carrying case. The Scholar Electric is really my son's type. At my type of deal, $30 off till June 9th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Vincent Price again, and here's the concluding act of A Test of Love. I don't get it, Mrs. Cunningham. What are you saying? I told you. Do it. Kill him. Don't you want to save him? No. You make my blood run cold. No, my beloved. I will make it run hot. <laughs> hmm. That attorney, that stupid little man. Is that a real Dega? <laughs> Look, see this? It's Paul's will. His last will. So? I control everything. Even his precious company. Everything? When he's dead? Oh, kiss me. Yes. I'm free. Free! And after a respectable period of mourning, you will be Mrs. Roberto Leone. 
Of course, my darling. Of course. Yes. Oh, never do that again. I'm putting your husband on the phone. Why? Maybe he can convince you to cooperate. You'll kill him if I pay the ransom or not. You have to. What makes you so sure? Because he can identify you. How? Every time you want him on the phone, you say, come here, and he gets on. He sees where the phone is. He's not blindfolded. <laughs> right, he's not. But we're wearing ski masks. Sorry, good try. Get the money. We don't want the old man. You've got to kill him. Oh, not for $250,000. How much? I'll think about it. <laughs> Come here, you. Talk. Please, sir. Please, pay them. With what? My monthly allowance? No, look, call John Gooding at the company. I, I, Lisa, I, I don't want to die. No. Uh, you, Lisa, your jewels, uh, uh, the paintings. Yeah, yes, the, the paintings. Give them the paintings. No. Uh, don't do this. Give me the phone. We figure he's worth uh, $500,000. Agreed. 250000 tonight. I can't get the money that quickly. Oh, that story again. I don't have it. All right. Deal's off. I have some jewelry. It's worth about 300000 maybe more. Well, it's a start. Go to the shopping center as before. Six sharp. We'll call you. The rest of the money in cash on Monday. All right. Don't cross us or you'll regret it. I won't. Do it. I want to hear you kill him. Suit yourself. <laughs> Come here, you. What? What are you going to... No, no, put that gun down. No. No! He's dead. Wonderful. Remember. It will be my pleasure to pay you. Is he dead? Yes. They shot him. What have we done? Nothing, my darling. They did it for us. I could have stopped you. But you didn't. Oh, in time. You see, in time, Paul's millions will wash away your guilt. I doubt it. Shall we read his will? Oh, Roberto, you're spoiling the party. Lisa... Don't. The envelope, please. I, Paul Cunningham, being of sound mind... <laughs> he was always so tedious. Just turn to the bequests. Here. To my faithful wife, Lisa... <laughs> I leave the following. Another... A full and undivided interest in all real estate. Here. The all holdings, including interests in Cunningham Industrials. All securities and negotiable instruments. Fantastic. They go to the museum. The collection of porcelains to the museum. The Renoirs to my beloved wife. <laughs> One million dollars to the cancer clinic. Strange. Everything. <laughs> I was left almost everything. Let me see it. Should we frame it, darling? <laughs> no. No. It can't be. What's the matter? It's not signed. Let me see the copies. Uh, one of them has to be signed. Oh, no. Oh, no. That miserable old man. Mm, so smart. Lisa, millions. This will is worthless. The prior will. His prior will. Now, I know that sign. Uh, it's in the wall safe. Have you read it? 
No, it was sealed. Get it. Look, take the painting down. There. 32 left. 18 right. One more. Where is it? Where is... Oh, here. Let me look. Yes, it's signed. Well, read it. Ah, uh, damn, wait a minute. Come on, I know. I bequeath all my real estate to... Oh, no. One Baker, the, the controlling interest in Cunningham Industrials. <gasps> what Baker, my name? All securities. <sighs> you fool! He's cut you out of the will. What? Damn, my eyes are in, the, in my possession. The paintings, all of the antiques, they all go to the museum. The bulk of the money is set up as a trust for the children's <sighs> hospital and the cancer clinic. It can't be. <sighs> Give me that. Wait, wait, wait. He's made provisions for me. And that means we have them. 3,000 a month for life. That's all. Oh, he's been too clever for you, you idiot. You dragged me into this mess for a lousy allowance. You're stupid, Lisa. Stupid and poor. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Get out! Get out of here! Quietly! Let his kidnappers settle with you, alone! You leech, you gigolo! You didn't even buy the clothes on your back, you parasite! Murderous! Get out of my sight! I hope they kill you, too! Go! Coward! Get hold of yourself, Lisa. You've got to think. Here, call the police. Yes. You report the abduction. They'll protect me. But for how long? I hate you, Paul. I hate you. <laughs> That's what I think of your precious antiques. <laughs> oh, be smart. You've got your jewels. You can contest the will. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm not going to be that easy to get rid of. Who is it? Roberto? Who is it? Who's there? Oh, no! Paul! Yes? They murdered you. I heard it. No, not quite. They, they, they shot you. No. You see, Lisa, they are here. Now, you've met Mr. Colton. I, I can't wait to tell my wife I met you. My confidential attorney, Harlan Cross. You get one more chance, oh, then... No. I staged the entire situation. Uh, why? To test you. I hate you. Uh, apparently more than I suspected. Mr. Leone will be able to corroborate everything. He's in it, too. No, but he has a price. You're in a lot of trouble, Mrs. Cunningham. Conspiracy to commit murder. Failure to notify the proper authorities. Proceeding to a premeditated crime. Now, these are serious charges. They're criminal offenses. Oh, no. You're not going to railroad me. This was entrapment. A fine legal point. I doubt you can prove it. We have evidence. <laughs> the newspapers will have a field day. I'll make sure of that. Besides, you have no proof. Harlan, the tapes. With pleasure. Do it. Kill the old fool. I couldn't care less. Would you like to hear more? We have every word. Our meeting, too. We'll go to court. Paul, I advise against any settlement. What settlement? Considering everything that's happened, it's fair. Well... Perhaps. Suppose we drop the charges. What are the terms? A divorce. 
You get $4,000 a month for life. We have the papers right here. You give up all claims against the estate. I'm not signing anything. We'll have you in court for years. Be smart. Come on, take it. No. You've created a conspiracy. I'll... I'll drag Paul through the mud. Then we go to court. And you'll get virtually nothing. It's a criminal case. Might even go to jail. You don't scare me. How would you plead to attempted murder? We have it all on the tapes. Leone will be named as co-conspirator. All right, gentlemen, that's enough. Now, uh, you let me talk to her alone. Let's get her out of here, Paul. In a moment. Yes, sir. We'll be in the next room. Lisa, you could have had money, property, position. Oh, I'll still get it. Oh, no. You'll come away from this the loser. Holland will fight you at every turn. Even when I'm not here. This was entrapment. Mm, I had to test you. To find out if you cared for me at all. Well, I did test you. And if you'd tried to save me, I would have signed the new will. No. It was your greed and impatience that betrayed you, Lisa. You're not finished with me yet. Well, soon enough. My dear, I have cancer of the liver. My time is limited. Probably just a year. So you see, everything could have been yours. National Automotive Sale. Get big national savings on the Sears Die Hard. Only $49.99 with trade-in. You save $8 on the maintenance-free battery that starts nearly every car in Indy. And save on Sears Dynaglass Belted 28 Tires. They're on sale now at 40% off spring 1979 general catalog prices. Plus federal excise tax. Dynaglass Belted 28 Tires. Save 40% at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. Honey, we've been on the road all day, and you still look cool and crisp. Wearing these sear shorts and t-shirt help. They're so cool and packable on trips. I brought along several of each. The t-shirts come in solid shades, color keyed to the solid or patterned walking shorts, so I can affordably mix and match a vacation's worth of easy care sportswear. A summer's worth of looks. Mm hmm smart lady. Summer t-shirts and shorts from Sears. Cool, neat, and practical. Available in Mrs. Sizes. A medley of moods above your windows, easily created with Sears Decorative Travers Drapery Rods. Finishing touches that you install yourself. Capture the rich look of fruit wood, antique designs, brass or copper, all with finials that are antique finish by hand. Chrome color rods gleam brilliantly, and Sears Trimension Rods keep a country sculptured wood effect always in view. All are strong, adjustable steel rods with plastic trim. Sears Decorator Rods, the crowning touch to your rooms. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. A Test of Love was written by Ken Gerard, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Vincent Price. Our stars were Antoinette Bauer and Len Berman. Featured in the cast were Ben Wright, Vic Perrin, and Byron Kane. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. <laughs>